my mouth is dry, I'm feeling lightheaded, I'm starting to get, you know, a really bad headache, I'm not feeling particularly great. <laughs> Hi, so I'm Dr. Alex Avery from ourpetshealth.com, helping you and your pet to live a healthier, happier life. And today, we're going to find out how hot my car gets. So it's a lovely day, it's four o'clock in the afternoon, so the heat of the sun has really gone. Um, I've got my thermometer here, it says it's 27 degrees. But how hot does a car get? So how long can you leave your pet in the car before it gets too hot for them? Well, I think the answer might just surprise you. But first, I've got to get changed. Right, here we are. Now, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a fluffy onesie, well, you'll just have to watch a little bit more to find out. But let's get going. I've got the car on, air conditioning's running, so it should be nice and cool in there. Um, so let's jump in and we'll see what the temperature is. Okay, so I've just turned the air conditioning off. Um, you know, imagine that you've just stopped at the shops. You've just about to hop out. Well, we need to leave the windows open, so we'll just maybe open and that's open all four windows a little crack so what a couple of inches no one's going to get in and steal the car and if we look at the thermometer it's only been off for a couple of minutes but let's see if we can see how what it is so it's up at 29 30 degrees okay so it's 29 30 degrees in the car um, what we'll do is we'll start my stopwatch and see how quickly it gets hot even though there is a little bit of a gentle breeze I really just can't feel anything so even with these windows open and if I put my hand right there I can't feel any cooler air coming into the car it feels just as hot here as it does where I'm sitting so cracking the windows is really not an effective way of circulating that air and cooling down your car okay so we're what three and a half minutes in and already 35 degrees yep seven and a half minutes in let me just get the thermometer okay it's coming up 40 degrees Okay, so I'm not the first person to do this. Um, the first person I'm aware of was Dr. Ernie Ward. Um, and he did it to really raise awareness of how hot cars get and how quickly they can get to that temperature. Um, I know it was then repeated by a good friend of mine, Dr. Dan Foster. Um, again, to raise the plight of dogs who are left in cars, because every year dogs are dying in cars, make no mistake. And so I thought I'd take things up a notch and wear this ridiculous costume. So this is my dog simulation. Maybe I'm a Dalmatian, Dalmatian today. Um, and it gives a more realistic experience of what your dog will be going through. Okay, so we're over 11 and a half minutes in. The temperature keeps on climbing. So let's just see what we've got here. So what's that? 40, 44 degrees. 110, 111 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's getting pretty hot. Just imagine how scary it would be for your dog. They're getting really hot. Their body temperature is starting to climb. Certainly my mouth is starting to go very dry. Um, and I'm not feeling fantastic, but I know that any moment I can just open this door and I can get out. Now, imagine how scary it would be for your dog. You know, they don't know when you're coming back. They don't know how long you're gonna be. All they know is that they're starting to get seriously stressed out by this heat. So think again before you leave your dog in your car for any length of time. It doesn't really have to be that hot outside either. Remember 27 degrees it is, and there's a gentle breeze that's, you know, these open windows are doing nothing to, to circulate the air. Okay, so we're at 17 and a half minutes now and it is getting hotter. So um, it's, there we go, what's that? 46 and a half degrees centigrade, which is oh, 115 Fahrenheit. Okay, so 21 minutes in now. It's getting fairly unbearable. I know I've said that a little bit, but it really is now. So I've got the sweat is absolutely pouring off me. I'm drenched. So that is going to be helping me lose a little bit of heat so it's going to be wicking through my clothes and evaporating and that's going to be helping me to to dump heat but remember again dogs can't sweat so as hot as i am even in this ridiculous suit with this ridiculous hood it's still nothing to what your dog would be going through so they would be getting super stressed now their body temperature would be starting to climb and why is that so bad well once the body temperature climbs past a certain point the organs start shutting down, it starts to do damage to the kidneys, damage to the liver, and a dog will go into multi-organ failure. It can happen very quickly, and once that starts, oh man, it's difficult to it's difficult to get your dog to recover successfully. You have to aggressively cool them down, 
there are only certain ways that we can do that if we just you know throw cold water over them actually that can just make things worse and then if you cool them too long then they go hypothermic they get a low body temperature and they're just a mess there the organs are shutting down all of the normal regulation that the body does is just just going haywire and even with the best will in the world even with the best team the best treatment there just is sometimes absolutely no way that we can save these guys when they get past a certain point they are literally cooking my mouth is dry I'm feeling lightheaded I'm starting to get you know a really bad headache I'm not feeling particularly great okay so my temperature my thermometer has maxed itself out it's hot okay so we've made it past the 30 minute mark I really didn't think I'd get here so 30 minutes the car's got ridiculously unbearably hot I feel terrible please don't try this at home take my word for it your car will get hot very quickly it will kill your dog it doesn't take long and even with treatment your dog can pass away so I'm Dr Alex from our pets health where I try and help you and your pet to live a healthier happier life so if you want more videos a little bit like this one all about helping you keep your pet as healthy as possible then please hit the subscribe button down below also leave a comment are you surprised how hot it got how quickly it got you know i'd love to hear i'd love to hear any experience you've had just to to help reinforce to people how serious this is please let me know in the comments down below and until next time take care of yourselves right i'm out of here oh where's the handle Oh man, that's nice.